Males, for example. As you're about to see, male genitalia comprises both external and internal elements, each with its own structure and function. Objective. To study the detailed structure and functions of the male reproductive system. In human beings, the male reproductive system is unique and is specifically designed to produce, nourish and transport sperm. The male genitals include the testicles, the duct system which is made up of the epididymis, Reti testis, Vesa efferentia, the vas deferens, ejaculatory duct, the seminal vesicles and the prostate gland. The bulbourethral gland or the Cooper's gland is located beneath the prostate gland. These glands open into the urethra which is a tube inside the penis. The testicles are oval shaped and are also part of the endocrine system because they produce testosterone which is the male sex hormone. Alongside the testicles are the epididymis and the vas deferens which make up the duct system of the male reproductive organs. The seminiferous tubules of the testes open into vasa efferentia through the reti testes. The vasa efferentia leave the testes and open into the epididymis. The epididymis is a set of coiled tubes that connects to the vas deferens. The vas deferens is a muscular tube that passes upward alongside the testicles and transports the sperm. The epididymis and the testicles hang in a pouch-like structure outside the pelvis called the scrotum. The accessory glands including the seminal vesicles and the prostate gland provide fluids that lubricate the duct system and nourish the sperm. The seminal vesicles are sac-like structures attached to the vas deferens near the base of the bladder. The prostate gland, which produces some of the parts of semen, surrounds the ejaculatory ducts and is located just below the bladder. The urethra is the channel that carries the semen to the outside of the body through the penis. The urethra is also a part of the urinary system because it is also the channel through which urine passes. The penis is made up of a shaft which is the main part of the penis and the glands is the tip, sometimes called the head. The inside of the penis is made up of spongy tissue. At the tip of the penis is a small opening of the urethra called the urethral meatus from where semen and urine exit the body. Functions of the male reproductive system. An internal view of the testis shows that it is made up of numerous coiled seminiferous tubules. A section of this tubule shows the presence of spermatocytes, which are the male germ cells and Sertoli cells. Spermatocytes modify into spindle-shaped spermatozoa and they finally transform into tadpole-shaped sperms. Each sperm has a head and a tail. Sertoli cells are known as nurse cells as they provide nourishment to the developing sperms. Lydic cells or interstitial cells are found adjacent to the seminiferous tubules. They secrete the male hormone testosterone. The sperms then move to the vas deferens or sperm duct. The seminal vesicles and prostate gland produce a fluid called seminal fluid which mixes 
with the sperm to form semen. An internal view of the testis shows that it is made up of numerous coiled seminiferous tubules. A section of this tubule shows the presence of spermatocytes. These cells modify into spindle-shaped spermatozoa and finally transform into tadpole-shaped sperms. Each sperm has a head and a tail. The sperms then move to the vas deferens or sperm duct. The seminal vesicles and prostate gland produce a fluid called seminal fluid which mixes with the sperms to form semen. The spermatocytes help in sperm production and Sertoli cells provide nourishment to these sperm cells. Lydic cells produce the male hormone testosterone. 